In this video, I'm going to be working on a Nakamichi Sound Space 5, which supposedly the CD, CD doesn't work, or it probably doesn't. I know this had been in a shop before, and the shop said it couldn't be fixed or they couldn't fix it. Um, for starters, it has a, looks like it's got a CD stuck in it, and so I'm getting this here. E Mecca, I guess it, that means um, error, mechanical error. And then I'll go ahead and check out the rest of the unit and figure out what to do. Now I think this thing comes open from the back and there's like four screws. One here on the left back and then on the right back. And you see down all the way in the left bottom corner there's one. And there's another one on the right hand side. So it's a total of four screws. And I think I'm going to start with those, basically those four. There's some more screws up here. There's a glass plate up front, but I don't think those are it. So I want to separate the um, cover here from the actual chassis. So it looks like the unit is open and for sure has a little uh, connector here. That's got to come out. And hopefully it'll come out without a fuss and without me breaking anything. I think I gotta shut the camera off and get a closer look. I can't do both at the same time. So this little connector came off, which I couldn't show on camera. I had to end up taking my fingers here and then I just gently rocked it back and forth and then it came out and I didn't break it. So I guess it's okay. Now there is one more cable here holding this thing together and that luckily went out smoothly so here's the exposed CD unit I think I got to take four screws out two here and two there I was able to see what was kind of causing that mechanical error it looks like there's looks like a plastic spindle this thing the CD wasn't on there correctly but I don't I don't I'm not even that far yet to see um, what kind of a problem that might be or have caused that. Now I got those four screws removed. Now there's two more connectors that gently have to be wiggled out or pried out. That's my next um, step. I gotta shut the camera off again. Now I'm trying to get this cover off. I removed two of these screws, these two screws. I've removed that one. That one didn't evidently didn't do anything at all. Um, and I can't get it to tighten it tighten down again so I'm going to have to take a closer look once I take the screws here on the side there's a plate here on each side covering that with two Phillips head screws I'm going to go ahead and pull the plate left and right and then pull up on this see what happens and then probably have to take out that screw again So removing these side brackets actually did the job and then I had to use a tiny bit of force to get this thing to come loose and this screw right here that just that stays there that doesn't have to be removed so the stuck CD I was able just able to pull out with my fingers and well that was probably because Looks like this thing can hold a couple of CDs and it was stuck on the very last one. I just had to tilt it up at an angle and then pull it out. So now I decided to turn the unit over. I got everything hooked back up and pulled the screws like five, six screws so I can get to the circuit board here. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to measure the laser current. So I can't show what I did um, here on camera. It's just too convoluted. I had to, I've turned the unit over and like I said, I took the bottom cover off and you're supposed to be able to measure the laser current. And here there is a little, hopefully I can get my camera to focus. There is a little resistor right there. This one right here. And it says on it R 
kind of, I think it says 100 on there. So that, that's actually a 10 ohm resistor. And what you're supposed to do is put a CD in here, press play, and then put your leads, your multimeter across this resistor. And that'll tell you how much current you have flowing. So, for example, I had measured, um, I think it was right over 1 volt. It could have even been 1.1 1 .1 volt. And what you do is basically you divide that by the 10 ohm resistor. And that will tell you how many, basically how many uh, milliampere you got flowing. So, again, all I basically just did was measure the laser current consumption. In order to do that, I had to read the voltage across the resistor here which is a 10 ohm resistor um, the logic is the worse the laser diode gets more current it's going to consume and once I did that um, I measured the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor I think I measured a total of like uh, 1 volt or 1.1 volt then I had to divide that by the resistance in order to get the basically the current and that came out to somewhere around 100 milliamperes. And with this laser diode, I think I'm supposed to read between, basically half between 30 and 60 milliamperes. So my reasoning goes that this thing is bad. The laser diode is bad. So, um, well, I guess this is an older unit, so that kind of makes sense. So right at this time, I have to end this project for now um, I really not I can't really get closer to this I can't really focus here um, focus here on this resistor it's just my camera won't do it so there might be a part two there might not depending upon whether I can get another um, diode assembly